Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. Right before you is the Duchess of Sussex herself, Miss Meghan Markle. And Meghan Markle, along with her husband, Harry, has been making news here lately because of a documentary on Netflix that has already dropped. And part two is slated to drop on the 15th of December. And in January comes the book, The Spare. But I want to touch on something in this documentary. A little short clip that Megan is talking about her race. And what she is talking about is something that I have touched on in several videos. But before I go on farther, I want you to hear for yourself. very different to be a minority but not be treated as a minority right off the bat. But obviously now people are very aware of my race because they made it such an issue when I went to the UK, but before that, most people didn't treat me like a black woman. So that talk didn't have to happen for me. Okay, so you heard that. She says that before she came to the UK, she was never treated as a black woman. So what she is basically saying is that in the United States of America, where she was pretty much a D-list actress, and I don't mean that with any disrespect. I'm just simply saying that she was not an A-list actress. She was not really on anyone's radar. So she was famous, but then again, not super famous. Or should say she was well known, but not really famous. And... So basically, people didn't really know her mother. They took her at face value, and what they seen was a white woman. So without revealing who her parental mother was, people just thought they seen some type of a white woman, and she was given white skin privilege without any type of discrimination whatsoever. However, what I have always told you guys is this, and this is what she has confirmed, that in the UK, once they found out who her mother was, her mother being a black woman, she was given the black treatment. So basically she was subjugated to all the racism that a black woman or a black person would receive. And I had told you guys before on several videos that in a racist society, or when you are dealing with racist people, there is no such thing as light skin privilege. This close proximity towards whiteness can be thrown out the window. You will not be given a sympathy pass, nor will you be given a lighthearted pass. People are not going to be half racist. Even if you're biracial, they're not going to be bi-racist, whatever that is, or a little bit of racist. Are we going to pat you on the back and give you light racism? There's no such thing. Any type of discernible blackness towards a racist person, a racist society, a racist institution, you will be treated as any other black person. That's what I've been trying to tell you guys. But some of you are so foolish, you want to be bogged down with that somehow there's close proximity towards whiteness. That's only if you can pass. I think you're confusing that with people who are passable, with people who do not necessarily have an ambiguous look. And in Meghan Markle's case, people in the UK and around the world now know who her mother is. So in that instance right there, as I stated before, Meghan Markle, when she comes in contact with racist people, institutions, societies, practices, or whatever, she will be given the black treatment because people know who her mother is. It's not a situation where she can pass like she did before she became very famous. And all of this stuff about close proximity towards whiteness, somehow you're being treated better within white society, that's a myth. That goes back to slavery um, what happened was that people really took it to heart. Some light-skinned people did, and they really believed that because they had light skin, that the master was showing them favors. 
Basically, that was nothing but a divide and conquer ploy. Read the Willie Lynch letter. Read it very good. It goes into detail as to about how they would divide them by using color, by treating certain people who had lighter skin differently than what they would darker skin. It does not mean that they preferred them. It was just basically a ploy, a ploy to keep the Negroes divided. So now you guys see, and Megan's seen for herself, and I'm hearing too that her mother stated that she regrets not teaching Megan about race earlier on, not having that pivotal conversation about race. Because it seems like to me that the mother was comfortable with her daughter passing for white in America. Maybe she thought that it would grant her a easier life, a more privileged life. Who knows? But Doria Racklin says that she does regret not teaching Megan about race. So what Megan Markle said in that documentary that you just um, seen, it just confirms what I've been stating all along. A light-skinned person with any discernible blackness in them is not going to be treated with favoritism. They're not going to be treated better. They're not going to be treated with privilege because to a racist mindset, Megan's black. She's dark skinned. Black people see her as a light skinned person, but a racist would see her just as an N. And when I speak about any um, basic discernible blackness, well, there it is right there. Look at her mother. That's discernible blackness. That's enough to give it away there. I will continue to do, do more stories like this because there are more coming up. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. And I will see you all beyond and through.